Let us look at an example of trend adjusted exponential smoothing. Assume an initial starting point for FT of 100 units. So FT is nothing but the forecast for the period T and a trend of 10 units. An alpha of 0.2. Alpha is nothing but the smoothing constant for average forecast and a beta of 0.3. Beta is nothing but the smoothing constant for trend. Now if the actual demand turned out to be 115 rather than the forecast of 100, calculate the forecast for the next period. So here let us first note down the information that has been provided to us. So we have been given that the forecast for the last period which we are considering here as T is 100. Trend for the last period is 10 units so T T is 10 alpha is 0 0.2 beta is 0 0.3 and the actual forecast at is 115 and we need to find the forecast that is f t plus 1 this is the next period. Now in order to find the forecast using the trend adjusted exponential smoothing the formula is forecast including trend for period T is equal to forecast for period T plus the trend for period T where forecast for period T is equal to forecast including trend for T minus 1 alpha into bracket the actual demand for period T minus 1 minus forecast including trend for T minus 1 and trend for period T is equal to trend for period t minus 1 plus beta into bracket forecast for period t minus forecast including trend for t minus 1. So since this information that has been provided to us is mostly for the previous period which in this formula is denoted as t minus 1. Let me change this. Also what I'll do is change this forecast to indicate that we are trying to find forecast including trend which is FIT T. So let me make that change. So we have been given the forecast for period T minus 1 which is the previous period. The trend for T minus 1. The actuals for T minus 1 and we have to find out the forecast including trend for period T. So let us first find out the forecast for period T without the trend. So forecast for period T is equal to forecast including trend for T minus 1. Now forecast including trend for T minus 1 will also follow the same formula which is forecast without trend for t minus 1 plus the trend for t minus 1. So let me note down here. So forecast including trend for t minus 1 will be equal to the forecast for t minus 1 plus the trend for t minus 1. So in our case this is equal to now forecast for t minus 1 has been given as 100 
and trend for t minus 1 has been given as 10. So this is 110. So forecast including trend for t minus 1, this is 110 plus alpha which is 0.2 into bracket actuals for t minus 1 which is 115 minus forecast including trend for t minus 1 which is 110 so this is equal to 110 plus 0 0.2 multiplied by now 115 minus 110 is 5 so this is equal to 110 plus 5 twos are 10 and one decimal point so this is 1.0 so this is equal to 111 now let us find out the trend for period t so this is equal to trend for period t minus 1 which is 10 plus beta which is 0.3 multiplied by the forecast for period t now this is what we calculated in the previous step which is 111 minus forecast including trend for t minus 1 and this is 110 so 10 plus 0 0.3 multiplied by 111 minus 110 is 1 so 10 plus 0.3 which is 10.3 now let's find out the forecast including trend for the next period so forecast including trend for period t is equal to 111 plus 10.3 so this is equal to 121 Point three units so the forecast including trend for the next period is 121.3 when the forecast for the previous period is 100 and trend is 10 units and the actual came out to 115 now let's say for period T after the period is over we realize that the actual for period t is 120 units so what will be the forecast for period t plus 1 now before we proceed to find out the forecast including trend for the next period let us first understand the information that we have in the form of a graph. So let me make some space here to draw the graph. I'll move this information here on one side. Okay, so I have drawn the x and y axis. On the x axis, we have time, period t minus 1, t and t plus 1. And on the y axis, we have quantity, 100, 110, 120 and so on. Now first we have forecast for t minus 1. Now this is without including the trend. So let's plot this. So forecast for period t minus 1. This is 100. F t minus 1. Now on top of this forecast for period t minus 1. We were given a trend for period t minus 1 which is equal to 10 so an additional 10 this is trend for t minus 1 so the total forecast including trend for t minus 1 is 110 so this point here is forecast including trend for t minus 1 
Now we were also given that the actual 40 minus 1 was found to be 115. So the actual is here. This is actual for t minus 1. So based on this information, then we went ahead to find out the figures for period t. So what we found is forecast without trend for period t is 111. So for period t, forecast without trend is 111, which is here. So this was f t. And trend for period t was found to be 10.3. So, total came to 121.3 units. So, 10.3 somewhere here. This was trend for period T. And this point is forecast including trend for period T. Now, we are being told that the actuals for period T came out to be 120 units. So the actual is 120 which is somewhere here for period T. So actual for period T. So the forecast including trend if we try to draw a line is like this whereas the actuals are like this. Now we have to find out forecast including trend for T plus 1. So somewhere here, forecast including trend for t plus 1, we have to find out. So let's see what all information we need to find that out. So the formula will be forecast including trend for period t plus 1 will be equal to forecast without trend for period t plus 1 plus trend for t plus 1. Now let's further go into the detail of these. So forecast for t plus 1 is equal to forecast including trend for period t plus alpha into bracket actual for period t minus forecast including trend for period t. So basically what I've done is in this formula I am replacing t with t plus 1 and t minus 1 with t. And trend for t plus 1 is equal to trend for period t plus beta for forecast without trend for t plus 1 minus forecast including trend for so let's see what figures we already have. So forecast including trend for period T is 121.3. Alpha is the same 0.2. Actual for period T is 120. Forecast including trend for period T again is 121.3. Now trend for period T is 10.3. Beta is 0.3. Forecast for t plus 1 will be achieved from this figure here. And forecast including trend for period t is 121.3. So let's try to calculate this. So f t plus 1 is f i t t which is 121.3. So 121.3 plus alpha which is 0 0.2 multiplied by actual for period t which is 120 minus forecast including trend for period t which is 121.3. So this is equal to 121.3 plus 0 0.2 multiplied by minus 1.3. So this is equal to 121.3 minus 0 0.26 and this is equal to 121.04 units.
so this is the forecast 40 plus 1 now let's find out the trend I want to do it in the same space so that we can compare these numbers so trend for period T plus 1 is equal to so trend for period T which is 10.3 plus beta which is 0 0.3 into bracket forecast 40 plus 1 which is 121.04 minus forecast including trend for period T which is 121.3 So this is equal to 10.3 plus 0 0.3 into bracket. This is minus 0 0.26. So this is equal to 10.3 minus 0 0.078. And this is equal to 10.222. So now the forecast including trend for t plus 1 becomes the addition of these two. So 121.04 plus 10.222. So 121.04 plus 10.222. And this is equal to 131.262. Units. So if I take this a little forward, let's say this is 130. So the forecast including trend 40 plus 1 is 131.262. So somewhere here, this is the forecast including trend 40 plus 1. Now forecast 40 plus 1 is 121.04, which will be somewhere here. This is F T plus 1 and this portion here is T T plus 1 which is 10.222. So if we extend this line for the forecast including trend it is something like this here. Again this is not to scale but you know just to understand the concept. So this is how we can find out the forecast using the concept of trend adjusted exponential smoothing.